I had like 25,000 in blues and like the rest of those in 20s. This, this, this after I got, I lost 20,000, this is the next day. I go to the after party. I'm walking, fool. It's like folks push me from behind, so I'm pushing folks too. But the security right by me though, like he, he on my left side. Now I swear to God, I'm walking at the club. Somebody read here, operating on my bag, fool. Unlocking my bag, going through my joint. I ain't feel nothing. I'm to my rear. Them folks peel me. 25,000. Nah, Zay. no way. I'm Zay, so I check the bag. I'm finna take a picture. In the parking lot of the club. I swear to God, I'm finna take a picture. I'm reaching my money. All the honey's gone. Man, I'm real here looking like who, who I think got it. I go to my nigga. I try to get it. Man, I try to. I was finna crash out. I ain't. I'm just now getting to the money too, so it's new to me. I'm looking at it like, man, this is a real loss. I would have been sick. I was mad if I was in red ear, go to jail that night, fool. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J Hill. J Hill Podcast. We are in the building. Special guest is here. YTV Fat. What's up, dog? What's going on, fam? What's going on? Ain't nothing, man. West Memphis is here. Yo, I know you get tired of niggas saying Memphis. Yeah. yeah. God damn. It don't yeah. take nothing just to look at the Google. Yeah, yeah, they sure be. I ain't gonna lie, they be getting that shit confused though, but see, sometimes I just be gone. Just say Arkansas type shit. Yeah. But I mean, throw them off. I mean, it is kind of weird though. Like, why would West Memphis and Arkansas? Yeah. It, 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 it does throw you off a little bit. Like, why they name the city West yeah. Memphis? Man, cause it really ain't no West Side of Memphis though, but they just don't shit like West Memphis. Okay. I, I wouldn't think, I don't think it's from Memphis too though. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's Arkansas though. It's like a bridge split it up. It's like a five-minute bridge, four-minute bridge. Boom, you walk walk across the bridge, you just ride across the bridge. You in Arkansas, West Memphis, Arkansas. Does that cause static sometimes, like, between the two cities? Because I can see, like, maybe some people in West, if somebody claiming Memphis, they not from Memphis, like, yo. You... It will, yeah. yeah. Do yeah, a lot some... of people claim Memphis, or? Nah, everybody claim with Some folk claim Memphis, some folk, you know, some folk that just, nah. <laughs> I claim we claim with me for August though. Okay. Now I, I asked that because like even like uh I'm from Baltimore. Yeah. So like uh up the street, up the road is like PG County. And then yeah. like PG is like super close to DC. Yeah. So like it'd be like sad, like, man, you ain't from DC, you from PG County. Even in Baltimore, nah, they're like, yeah, you ain't from Baltimore City, you from the county, nigga. Yeah, that's what folks be saying. Like some some men folk be saying that and some way men folk be saying that. Man, you ain't from you from myth. Some folk be saying, ain't from, I ain't from here, you from West Memphis. Right. Some folk, they be saying it. They be saying it. But West Memphis is small, right? Yeah, West Memphis is real small. It's crazy because, like, a lot of people might not talk about it, but I know a lot of shit go down there. Man, too much. I'm going to say, every day, I'm talking about every day, every day a new man just out of here, every day. How is it, like, paint me a picture, like, a uh, just... A regular week growing up in West Memphis. How is that? One week. Yeah. How does that look like? What does that look like? Uh, you know, Monday come. You know, Monday nigga might. See, Monday like a fresh start. Monday might wake up on a, you know, a dice, dice, catch a dice game or something. Boom. Dice game might get shot up. You never know. Tuesday, same thing. But on Wednesday, nigga might, you know, nigga might go to the gym, hoop. Everybody from the hood be, it's the coach, be coach, he be, he be been rocking with the young niggas, so he all like the gym sometimes. My nigga bringing their guns in the gym and everything, making sure they straight, cause the smoke's so heavy right now. My nigga ain't trusting none right now. Thursday, Friday come, nigga might just chill. And the weekend come, man, it's too much going on. You finna have to dodge everything. Damn. Nigga might hit the counter, you never know. When do y'all, I know in the city we got uh, something called like the, the Hot Ball Boys. They used to come on like Wednesdays and like Thursdays or some shit like that. Yeah, they come on Tuesdays. That shit's crazy. It's cra Tuesdays. Ain't it's crazy how like no matter where yeah, you are. They don't play no games. Yeah. Like they the niggas that'll beat your ass. They'll steal your shit. Yeah. They not. They fuck around. Don't take I got whooped. I'm saying. I'm fucking beat me up a couple times. I'm saying. Me, see, my brother. 
take a nigga shirt off and take pictures of a nigga head yeah, down. Nah. It's crazy because like how so many inner cities are so similar around the country, right? But like we, we always, like where we from, we take it to heart so so much, but it's like, bro, like all this shit is is, is technically yeah. the same. Yeah. Yeah. Like we, and it's crazy because coming up, we it's like we really, you catch niggas trying to say like whose city is the most dangerous, when it's like that shit is dumb, yeah. bro. Man, them niggas having a real competition right now. Who's seated the most times? That shit is stupid. What's some of the things you learned just being you 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 successful now, right? Like you get into you get into the bag yeah. now, you getting out of your city, you traveling around the world, traveling around the country. What is one of the things that you learned that you never would have thought you you would you would have learned uh, just being in West Memphis? Man, mind your business. I swear to God, having other for a business, they can get you, and you can really die like that. Mm. Having other for a business. Especially if it ain't got nothing to do with you. But you got some niggas that just love certain men so much that they just gonna, whatever this man like got going, I really rock with this dude, so I'm finna just, I'm with him. Mm. To death, I'm with him. You got some niggas like that. But I mean, that's what we grew up learning though. Like, yeah. they, they your peoples, especially if they your peoples, right? Yep. It's like his business is my business almost. But you got some niggas that's like, say, but I ain't with that. Some niggas is just trying to really just get some money. Some niggas ain't, man, some niggas just, if they know they nigga on some, on some like on some bull, man, they, some, some niggas getting away from that. Some everybody ain't with it. Mm. Where I'm from, like, mostly with it, but half folks just trying to get some money, take care of their folk. Mm. Oh, God. And you learned how to, like, I guess, get away from that, kind of. Yeah. Because that could kind of fuck up. nigga how to take care of their folk, too, though. My own God, damn. Yeah. It's like, I see everybody come up different, though. Everybody just was already born into a rich family, or everybody just, some niggas had to work. I had to work. Mm. Nigga, they got shot on to come up out of everything. You never know how it might turn out. Niggas, you gotta be with whatever, whatever come, nigga, wait. Nigga, you gotta go and be prepared. Mm. Especially if nigga wanna make it. No, in fact, I think one thing that uh, stood out about your story, bro, and I think a lot of people already touched on it, is like you lost a lot of people coming up, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, family, friends. Oh God. Brothers. Like, family, killing brothers. family, friends, killing friends. Oh God, how do you, my come up with, though. How you dealing with that now, bro? Man, I used to, I, I'm about 2.5 years so about the weed, but I, I used to get real idea, like, Congratulations, another, I used to be on a whole nother world, a whole other planet. With the weed, I used to help, they used to help me like that, but the guy ain't even the guy. I'm tired of running from him. I just had to go on face. Mm. So then when he really hit a nigga, and yeah, every nigga really realized, like, damn. What was the hardest part, if you could if you could remember that time when it really hit you, right? Like you sober. Seeing it, I saw half of it. Or no, not even that, I'm saying like after the fact, right? Like you sober and you really had to sit in your thoughts and and deal with it. You remember those times? Yeah. How was that? I really was thinking like, man, then another nigga next. This is this ain't, ain't gonna stop being him. It's gonna keep going on. Another nigga next. Mm. Proud of them all. But I'm thinking like, man, I ain't tomorrow. I ain't, I'm finna survive, fool. I'm doing whatever. I don't care what I gotta do, fool. I ain't, I ain't finna die, fool. It's mm. over with, fool. Mm. Nigga gonna, and that's a nigga mind, though, in the back in the city. My nigga gonna smoke whoever to stay alive for. My soul, real deal, he gonna do whatever. Isn't it crazy how like we be, it's like we put in these environments where survival is all we know, or survival is what we gotta do. And then it's damned if you do, damned if you don't, because what you gotta do to survive be the same shit that'll take your life. Mm -hmm. Even if it's like physically, mentally, or like putting you behind bars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like we really, Fucked up. That's like that's like a hundred percent around there though. Nigga gonna die, and you know you don't want to die. So a nigga gonna really do whatever to not die, and the stuff you doing to not die, nigga mm. might finna go to the penitentiary. Mm. You said you live down the street, it's like that little, shit was little, down the street. Yeah, man, the penitentiary probably like forty minutes from where me, thirty minutes from where me. Man, you got Maverick, you man, so many units. Man, you got man, it, man, you got plenty of shit. Everything probably five minutes from the city. Counting like eight minutes from nigga grandma had to count it right on it. The back road, like 350 Alco. That motherfucker about six minutes from the house. Mm. 
I have a nigga in the hood going to that motherfucker for this is for sure. For sure. Yo, how, what do you tell the kids that's there, right? Because you got out, right? You, yeah. you got to the bag. Like, you, you fortunate. You blessed. We know that. But before you got out, I'm pretty sure it was a time where you ain't even, you wasn't even thinking about being where you at now. Yeah, you was nah. thinking about surviving, like we said. What do you tell a young nigga that's in West Memphis right now that's just like, man, I'm not trying none of that. I'm trying to get to this paper. I'm trying to survive. Like, what do you oh, tell God, him? Then you got to tell a nigga, like, man, I ain't going to lie, fool. Even though, they, even though the young nigga just really like me with the smoke, with like with the hot shit, you still got to watch out for the young nigga just with the hot shit because they, you getting so much money, you they going to be hating on you, fool. You going to read it here. Like, some of these niggas going to try to rob a nigga. A nigga got to be a stand-up nigga around there. Yeah. That jump back, this is big. Everybody into it. Everybody beefing. Every side beefing. One nigga get picked out, it take a couple weeks to find out who did everybody beef. Then you got the same side, them niggas, some of them niggas beef on oh God, like real deal. Mm. Say, say this nigga be with these niggas, these niggas on straight dirt. This nigga just, he work at the warehouse. Probably caught in the middle of it. Man, this nigga, just cause this nigga just cool with these niggas, he finna get tapped. That's how they doing it right now. Mm. Especially if they can't get to the E, man. They finna make a nigga, they gonna try to make a nigga hurt. A nigga try to hurt me right now and tell one of my folk. Mm. Just cause a nigga fat, fat cuz. We can't even get fat. We don't even finna get fat bulletproofed up. We finna get it cuz. My cousin work at Family Dollar. They ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It's going like that right now, fool. Bro, it's, and this shit still connect, like. It's going like this. This shit still going down close to you, even though you're not home. I swear to God. Bro, you been shit, you been out what, like a year now? Year and a half? Year and a half, yep, year and a half. Damn, dog. Year and a half. And I remember you even saying, like, no matter, it was like something, something good to happen. Yep. It's, all the shit, all the chaos probably died down. Something good happened. The next thing you know, I think you said, even like before you got signed with God, you, your aunt had just passed. Like your yeah. aunt had just got killed, right? Yeah. Like, damn, bro, like that shit be the scary. Yeah. This is what y'all be talking about. Sign, yep. Before I had signed it, bro. Before I had signed the bag, my you Bag, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My bad. That's, man, that's... God, I, yeah, that, that, that was like the same look, two, you, three day period. You, but you know what else is fucked up about it, bro? Because I was thinking about it like, we can't ignore, I feel like this whole industry, I've been talking about this a minute for a lot. I feel like the industry should be a contradiction. And what I mean by that yeah. is like, the industry should promote hood shit or street shit. Right? Yeah. Because, and we and you can correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like we can't ignore you wouldn't be as hot, bag, shit, got like none of the none of the street niggas for real that came from the street. We can't ignore the influence that the streets put on a career, right? Because if you ain't come from where you come from, niggas ain't really rocking with a lot of niggas that ain't oh from where we from. Like yeah. you feel me? Yeah, right. So it's like the industry promote that, then when you get in, expect you to just stop that when like Nigga, that was my life. Yeah. See, the industry, they be wanting nigga to go and change it up. But really, like, your fan base, like, you got a, you got a real, you got a poor fan base. So, you rapping about all these watches and everybody, you just can't relate. Yeah. Like, you got to rap about what's going on. Bad and God, them folks rapping about what's going on. Them folks, man, that, that, that's why everybody really in the trenches just feel these folks. Mm. They feel me. I'm rapping about what's going on. Everybody I, can't spend tw two thousand on some shoes. Two D nigga, niggas ain't finna relate. Facts. Most niggas can't relate though. But man, the trenches, nigga gotta make movies for the trenches. They where nigga fans gonna be. At. Was it hard to like not go back when you when you when Gotti first? I mean, Bag first came and got you. Yeah, it was hard not going back though. Yep. How you end up stop? Like what, what? Like what was the the moment that you stopped going back to the hood? Because I can only imagine they get up. Like now nah, I want to go back to the hood. I want to go back to home and show niggas. Oh God. We, it's, it's I was possible. doing it though. It got to a point where like, man, every time going back, man, I swear to God, for every time I go back, it's it's, it's a shootout for sure. Two or two, it's like two for show sure shootouts. But that's why I nigga really stopped going because. It really wasn't no purpose. Say if a nigga try to go back, do a backpack giveaway, I ain't never planned it, but if I was just thinking like, man, if I try to do a backpack giveaway, man, these niggas gonna still try to kill a nigga. Mm. 
Let me get to it something in the folks. It ain't even no, it ain't no, it, it's useful. It ain't, it ain't no point. Right. And the police on the nigga bad. They, they every time they get pulled over, they, they script searching the nigga. They ain't, they ain't helping no nigga. How much of not going back to bag like influence to help to help you like to help you relieve yeah, nobody? Was telling, bag, see, 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 it was a fun time. I, in the beginning of my career, like me, bag and Joe was sharing locations. Mm. So every time, like they feel like it. <laughs> I'm in the hood, dude, yeah. like ten chains on, two bulletproofs, hundred thousand on me. They check my location, really check my location. Call my phone, man. Where you at, bro? Oh, oh man, I had to stop by my grandma's house to give some money, bro. Man, you ain't man, you been there three days, bro. You been in the same location three days, man. All uh, type of stuff like that. They just wanted a nigga to win, though. Nah, facts. Was it hard to hear that, though, then? Because then you still a young, like, yeah, you still young. Yeah, it was real young. hard. It was real hard because a nigga, just, 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 just like last week, a nigga in the hood just chilling. Every car riding by a nigga. A nigga just chilling, trying to get out some little weed on the porch with they niggas. Next week, you got a hundred thousand dollars, plenty of chains on. You finna go back to the same spot. You, yeah. you lying now. You finna be like, man, we made it, fool. Niggas just want to get that feeling, though. Street light poles hitting on a nigga chain. Niggas just... All type of stuff, light poles, just all type of stuff. Mm. Same females a nigga couldn't get, they riding by seeing you. Oh God, you shining, they seeing it. Facts. That's what a nigga always wanted somebody to, you know, that's always what I wanted to do. You know what's crazy, bro? Even just listening to you. Cause it's always easy to tell a nigga like, man, get out your city. Like all, all the rappers and all the yeah. niggas that's doing something get killed in their hometown. But I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It's super important to get your city behind you. That'd be yeah. a lot of the key to a lot of niggas' success, oh too. Oh, God. Oh, my mom. Like, there's no way you... See, with my city food, it's like you just got to get... You got to get your side behind you. Yeah. Like, say a nigga from, a nigga, from the, nigga from the north side, he rapping. If he got the whole north side behind him, it's going to look good. Yeah. But to the other niggas, niggas still don't like you, but... To the to the folk that ain't beefing or nothing, it's gonna it's gonna look good though. On God, it's gonna look good. You shooting a video, hundred niggas at the video. Everybody <laughs> got the same shirt on, like just promoting your music. Yeah, they gonna they gonna look good because they behind you. But you the other side, they, they ain't no fuck. Man, I'm telling you. Take us back for a second. How was you able to get like your side behind you and really get that buzz for a nigga like Bag to see you and be like, man, come to L.A. My own God, bro. I ain't gonna even lie how I got my hood behind me. See, we always rapping with me, my old guy, with me, my Pimp K, Dead End, 4 A, Trey, Trey, Ed. So we all rapping. So a nigga really just had to see who was gonna make it first. Mm. On God. But everybody that rapped, they were rapping before me, though. I had really just started rapping like on some, like when I had got shot, mm -hmm. I started rapping after that. My old God, I, I ain't gonna lie though, man. Them niggas were taking it for real. Everybody was taking it for real, though. But it was just on, on some shit like, man, I went real there like a hundred nights. I'm talking about a hundred nights, nigga. Every night I'm in the studio, a hundred nights. These niggas, I'm talking about some niggas was getting high. Man, I'm hit the old tomorrow, fool. I'm too high. Man, I'm real. I'm, I'm, I'm still going to go, though. So, boom, now I'm in the old air night. All the guys like, damn, nigga, in the old air night. Now the yo getting packed, studio getting packed. They see how a nigga working. Now, everybody in the studio, it's time to shoot a video. Like, we all, everybody's in the studio. We finna go to the video and shoot. It, these niggas finna call they little females, the niggas they rock with, that's gonna make everybody get deep. Mm. And then a nigga like me, probably one that's shooting the video. Now, it's just, now it look good. Yeah. It look good. Everybody done called everybody up. It look good. From the moment you started, but from the moment you got shot to the moment you started rapping, and then the moment bad called you, right? The, change, the moment that changed your life. Would you say it happened fast or was that a lot of work that we had to get put in? Man, a lot of food. It was a lot of work, fool. But now, now that a nigga, this, like, this, just, this, this high, it'll be, it'll seem like it's fast, though. But to a nigga like me that really, every night, every night went through it on God, it took some little time, fool. Mm. Yo, now we it had, happened fast, though. It happened fast? Like, what, like a year? Like, a hundred nights in the studio? I mean about four months. Four, four months? I'm talking about like the moment I took it serious. Yeah. Like, like a nigga was rapping. 
But the day I said, man, I'm finna go and get for real, fool. By nine or day later, a nigga made it. Sheesh. Nine but you had to have some motion, though. It ain't. 90 days yeah, is crazy. Nigga, yeah, nigga has on God. But my motion to, to the point to where I only can pay for my studio time. Okay. If a nigga buy some new shoes, my money gonna be off for my studio time. Okay. So that's how I was going. But a nigga still buying little shoes, though, but I built a relationship with my nigga French so hard to where sometimes he would let a nigga record, like, for the free. Oh, Yo, that just, that just made, made a good point. Because even now, like, it's crazy. A nigga think they equate, they equate, equate, equate motion with money. And that ain't always the uh, case. Uh-uh. Like, even now, like, I'm pretty sure you up, but it's still expenses. Like, shit, niggas got to take care of shit. Oh, God. And I'm pretty sure niggas back home, either family, some friends, like, associates, they think a nigga rich, rich. It's like, bro, I need, oh, like, I can't keep. Oh, God, they think a nigga really a filthy. Filthy. <laughs> Filthy. Nigga think I'm 50. <laughs> filthy, nigga, 50. Filthy. <laughs> All the time, though, nigga, like, see, 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 I ain't gonna say they small minded, but it's just they been in one spot their whole life. Whole time, you think a nigga filthy rich? Then I go, a nigga like me, the one that's really got the, the money, I go around a nigga like Gotti. I ain't, I, I ain't satisfied. <laughs> Beep. What that nigga? You know that's him. <laughs> that's that's him. That shit go. <laughs> So I go around real men with the, the cheat the bacon, real. I get thing like man, I ain't, I ain't all the way there but yet. You ain't get caught up in like trying to, cause I know some like when you get it, you want to give it to your your loved ones. You ain't get caught yeah. up in like losing a, a a lot of money trying to get back to your family. Yep. I'm probably like in gifts and money. I'm probably like one point three million and I'm say like one point three million dollars and just. Handing it up. That's my pops. He gonna tell you. He gonna he be telling me to chill. I be I really stopped doing that though. Man, folks ain't just man. That's folks. what I was gonna ask you next. Did I'm you telling you, you, fool. you learn how to say no? Yeah. I'm just learning how to say no though, probably like two, three, four months ago. How hard is that? Saying no. Yeah, it is real hard though. But I just see when I was on the come up, I, I accepted the no's. Like nigga tell me now, nah. oh for sure, big bro, appreciate it. Niggas ain't, you say a nigga nah right now, nigga, these niggas flipping out mm, mm, from my mm. mama. Mm. Nigga like me, I ain't going though, you flip out on me, I'm for sure, bro. You ain't gonna never hear from me again, I ain't, I'm too good. Mm. I've been too good to folk, I ain't. Man, a nigga asked me for something right now and they flip out on me. Man, a nigga never hear from me again, I don't say it. It's, it's, I'm in situations like that right now. I don't say it, I ain't no men, some of these men like, that I was gonna come up with. Nigga ain't never finna hurt from me. I'm that sorry. shit got hurt though. Like you could do that, but I know that shit hurt. Like especially if it's one of your mans, yep. and you gotta really cut him off. It's like, nigga, why you had to do that? I ain't want to cut you off. Oh God, oh God, but that just, man, you gotta show niggas fool. And then what they do? <laughs> niggas is crazy, boy. They'll do something right. They deserve to get cut off, but the first thing they want to do is make excuses for it. Be like, uh. Man, he got some money. He changed. Oh, well, you got around Bag and, and Gotti and them niggas. He oh, changed. God, he trying. Like, nigga, what? Oh, God. It's the first time they gonna say nigga trying. And it's crazy how, like, they be the main ones to change. Like, bro, you ain't never asked me for no money. Now, when I got Stop money, what? Oh, God. Stop it. Nah, niggas is crazy, bro. That's crazy. How is it now, bro? How how are you enjoying the success? Is it, can you even, is it even enjoyable? Right? Yeah. It's so much trauma there. Like You got to make it. You got to make it, though. How? Talk to me. When you say you got to make it enjoyable. All right. Boom. All right. She lost her son. She lost her son. But they sisters. Mm-hmm. I'm making all my aunties. We getting back clo- close to in. All my uncles. All along, we just go to one house. Like, get to a point now, everybody who lost somebody, we just all just go to one house, buy a lot of liquor, everybody just have fun, card mm. game. But that just help. That's like on some, fam- that's on the family side, on the family too. Or a nigga can just everybody go to Miami, get a mansion for a week. Mm. We all cook, just go on the yacht. Everybody just refresh their mind right quick. But those are the good times, bro. I'm saying like the moments when you can't do that, right? Like when it's it's some moments oh, where yeah. you gotta sit by yourself. Oh God. 
Them moments right there, though, don't. Nigga really get to think though, but a nigga when a nigga when when a nigga in them type of moments, a nigga get to think about the next move too though. You can really think about the fruit. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes nigga need them moments though. Mm -hmm. Nigga like me for sure. No, nah, that's a fact. Sometimes you sitting by yourself, you get to get focused because now I'm trying to lock and I ain't trying to go back. Nigga ain't trying to go back. When I talk about the industry, I'm saying like, how is, you know, bro? We are you from? I'm a, I'm from a small city. You from a small city? Yeah. I think, like, even now, like I always say, being from the hood, it taught me how to be, like, authentic. Right? Like, yeah. in the hood, if I ain't messing with a nigga, I don't got to talk to a nigga. And the industry is a little different. I'm pretty sure you've been seeing some people move different. It, and you got to put on some niggas. Ain't gonna lie, though. Some niggas, some niggas learn. Some niggas going to school for the fake, for the fake, like, <laughs> Some niggas really there learning how to put on a fake smile. Yeah. How to fake approach a nigga like, ah, man, you, bro, come on, bro. You know what it look. Some niggas, some niggas learning, like, some niggas really there trying to get that down pack the fake stuff. Mm. Oh, God, whole time, you got to act fake for five minutes, ten minutes. You go back, walk out, like, man, these he, he niggas so cow. Is that something that you, you think you got to learn for yourself? How to, I guess. I was getting a nigga, I've I been learned it in the hood. Mm. It's in me. I already know how to do it. I'm say I've been, but now again they gonna make a nigga. I don't, I don't like doing it. It's funny that you say that because like for me it was the opposite. Like I came up and I made a, bro, I fucked a lot of opportunities up for myself because I thought I had to be real. I ain't know how to tell you, be bro. fake. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought I had to be real. They gotta learn how to be fake for right now. I'm say that's that's my real deal. You need gotta really learn how to be fake. This guy right here, you would think you really locked in with a nigga, fool. You would think you really locked in with a nigga. Was there any times, you don't have to say nobody name or anything like that, for sure, but uh, was there any times that you had to learn that the whole way? Like, man, you thought you were locked in with somebody and he wasn't. Um, Yeah, that happened to me a couple times with the rap. Yeah, that happened to me a couple times. But later on down the line, though, a nigga, like a nigga, like a nigga get it right with that person though. A nigga just, you know, you know, a conversation is the key. Like a nigga just had to really chop it up with that man one on one, one on one. Just see, like, man, what happened with the bro? I thought you said you, you know, stuff like that. Mm. Oh God, you had to really just a nigga. I always got to talk to a man just see what's going on though. You just can't go off emotions for it. Ain't, it ain't gonna work like that. Mm. No, nah, fact. Yeah, I, uh, I just you just dropped pretty brown, right? Wait. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you got an old soul. Like, you young as fuck. Like, how old are you, like, 23? Yeah, I just turned 23. I'm about to say, nigga, like, I know you young as hell. But I think I, it was I another know. song uh, that I heard. It had a, another sample on there. Um, I think it was, like, the same girl joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same girl, yeah. Like, you, like... That joint finna get a plaque. Everybody get a plaque? Yeah, same girl finna get a plaque. What was the, uh, the, the motivation behind the Pretty Brown thing? I feel like you... I feel like you get into a bed where you can pop your shit, but then you also got them type of songs too. Yeah, pretty brown. My me and G Way, me and Rollo, we be in the man, me and bro be in the studio every night, fool. I'm talking about every night, fool. Nigga to make, we'll get together to make like three, four songs. So, oh, we don't be trying though. Nigga mm -hmm. don't even be trying. Nigga just, the nigga just be mine. I'm talking about on they level. Man, bro, we done built chemistry and everything. We already know how to go off each other. We probably got like a whole mixtape now. No, you got some shit, bro. I listen yeah, to it. got like a whole mixtape now. Bro. And I ain't gonna lie, I be saying, I, I know I joke, I say this shit all the time. I don't be fucking with the young nigga music, man. It be a too much shoot him up, kill, kill, bang, bang. Yeah. Like, that shit give me a headache. Yeah, like, that's why lately I've been really making real moves. I've been making real moves. Yo, y'all in this music shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it's like Baltimore too, shit. Like, that music shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That Man, shit kill me every time, nigga. They yeah, had talk for me. <laughs> that shit kill me. I was so I was gonna ask you earlier, like speaking of like, of course, you from West Memphis. It's like you said, ten minutes down the street from Memphis, right? Like 10, yeah. 20, maybe. Yeah. Ten. Tell me how, when you when you was coming up, right? Because like, we can't ignore the the impact that Memphis had on opening the door just for that area. What do you think? Like, what do you think it was that really knocked the the door down as far as the music? For that area of Memphis, West Memphis, and all the other like surrounding small cities around there. 
You said, what you think? Knock the door down for y'all, to, for, for niggas to see y'all. Man, Bank, Bank World Fred is making it. They put eyes on Arkansas for real. Bank World Freddy from uh, Arkansas? He was from Helena. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was with Bank every day. He was yeah. from Helena before he got locked out with him every day. He, might, he, he put eyes on it, but like with my situation, I had, like, I got signed, like, through the streets, fool. I was gambling, like, at a dice game. Yeah. They were playing my music at a dice game. So I was gambling with Bag, little cousin, Joe, Joe and them little cousin. And man, that nigga, that nigga heard my music. He took, he took it to them. Mm. And the shout out them took it to the, took it to the brother. So it was just the, the niggas you around. Yep, yep. You yeah, gotta you, really know somebody and know somebody. No, you're a gambler, nigga. You still be gambling like that? You still going crazy? No, I ain't, man. I ain't. <laughs> What's the I last? Be looking at it like I'm alright, man. I, the last said, bet you put up, you, the last bet or gamble you had, to, you did. In L.A. What? We be gambling like two little twenty four. Your pops is laughing. So happy. L.A. What happened to L.A., bro? Yeah, I got flushed. You got flushed. Flushed. You lost. How much money you lost? I'm gonna probably lost like I ain't lose that much. I probably lost like twenty something thousand. Oh what? Probably what was lost, like it was me bag. The whole break game was gambling. But then I'm in L.A., bro. I swear to God, I'm in L.A., bro. Me and God, I'm with God at the awards. So boom, it's the it's the was after party. I probably go to LA with like eighty five thousand. I flew eighty five. Man, I got here for like twenty twenty something. Then I go to the woods. I go to the woods. After party, I changed my outfit. I had like a Louis V bag. Like oh God, I had like twenty five thousand in blues, and like the rest of those in twenties. This, this this after I got I lost the twenty thousand. This is the next day. I go to the after party. I'm walking, fool. Like folks pushing me from behind, so I'm pushing folks too. But the security right by me though, like he, he on my left side. Now I swear to God, I'm walking at the club. Somebody read here operating on my bag, for unlocking my bag, going through my joint. I ain't feel nothing. I'm to my rear. Them folks peeled me. Twenty five thousand. Nah, Zay. no way. I'm Zay, so I checked the bag. I'm finna take a picture in the parking lot of the club. I swear to God, I'm gonna take a picture. I'm reaching my money. All the honey's gone. Man, I'm real there looking like who, who I think got it. I go to my nigga. I try to get it. Man, I try to. I'm finna crash out. I ain't, I'm just now getting to the money, too, so it's new to me. I'm looking at it like, man, this is a real loss. I would have been sick. Man, I was mad. I was finna real there go to jail that night, fool. Yeah, hey, chill out. That's crazy. So this this your pops. I feel like I heard you yeah, talk about your pops a couple times. You do real estate, right? Yeah, yeah, man. Remodeling and shit. Yeah. yeah. Man, when you, weird, when man. you start bringing your pops around with you all the time? Man, since I was a young nigga. <laughs> Y'all always travel like that. Yep. I was a young nigga, pop. Yep. Damn, man. So pop taught me how to travel on my own. Like, I was like that turn 16, 17, catching the bus to New York, the bus to LA, but he just. He really showing me the roads how to like grow up, be mm. a man. So question, cause I, I seen you talk about uh we ain't gonna say exactly what. You was about to crash out before Bad called you. Oh uh, yeah. Where where was where was Pops at then? Where was you at then? Pops probably, you weren't telling him the shit you was getting into. He probably around the corner. I ain't uh uh-uh, I ain't finna no. <laughs> uh-huh. Nick, nigga let him know though, like man, hey Pop, this going on right here, fool. Mm. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but this is going on. He'll know like what's going on, like with this, like with you know, with the beef and stuff. What you think that like the relationship with you and your father? What you think that taught you for like the, for you to pass down when you finally have a little? Yep. Talk, nigga, nigga, just like we can talk about everything. So you think you gonna have that same relationship with your youngin when you had, yep. talk up this big? I'm gonna I'm, I'm let I'm gonna let the young nigga know. My son, I'm gonna let the young nigga know. Mm. We can talk about whatever, man. I ain't gonna judge you or nothing. We gonna. I think that's important. Whatever, bro. That's how my mom's was. She told me talk everybody about these females, what he going through, who breaking his heart. We can talk about all that. Mm. Yo, do you feel like there's a lot of pressure on you coming out of West Memphis? Yeah. Cause I feel like y'all only had what like two other rappers that came out of West Memphis. No, ain't nobody never made it out of West Memphis. Well, Argan- let me not say Arkansas in general. Yep, probably. I mean, like two other rappers. Two or three guys made. Yep, yep. 
But on the basketball side, man, we got some real hard. Malik Monk, man, we got man, we got some real hard men. On the we talking about rappers side. though. Niggas that made it, made it. Rappers. Well, rappers, yeah. You feel like you got the whole like city, well, state goddamn on your back. Yep. I feel like it's uh I got the whole state. Nigga know how I'm coming though. Originally young nigga. In Arkansas. I made history. Mm, mm, mm. What did that mean to you? That mean a lot though. That mean, oh God, that mean, I ain't never know it could be like that. <clears throat> to my rich young niggas, and we can call my bluff, we can make, we can make a bet, do whatever. <laughs> we can do whatever, but we can match it with the wit. Break out the cars, the chains, the wit. Hey, I just, mm. What's going on now, man? We here. Man, I'm really, man. I'm really working on myself, man. I'm finna get on back in the gym, bro. I'm finna go on my TB Slim, man. <laughs> my TB Slim, boy. <laughs> I'm finna get right. How much weight you trying to lose, bro? I like a 30 piece. I ain't trying to do too much. I just lost 40. If you really with it, we can go really? get it. The cap, no cap. I just lost like 35 pounds. How you do that, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead ass too, bro. I need the recipe. Yeah, I be running. And I changed my eating up a little bit. So I just realized all that. I really can help you for real if you if you dead ass. We can Ooh. go YTB Slim for real. You can be like, yeah, I'm him. Yeah, I'm YTB I'm him. him. You feel me? Yeah, I'm him. <laughs> I'm dead ass though. Right, we're gonna work on you it. cap, nigga. I'm God, I'm for real. The one I go to the gym, Pop. Huh? Yo, did I, did, I, did I not just look? I lost I'm like 40. I was 200 pounds. I'm 160 right now. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I get it in. I can't work with bro. <laughs> See, you said you want to lose it. I got you. I can't you. work with bro. I ain't gonna do you like that though. Hey, you got an old picture or something? You got an old see, picture. Let me see. Let me see. I think I might. Uh, hot. I be running. It be oh, hot as shit. Let me see. Oh, sir. No cap, bro. Let me see. Damn. Nah, I get it in, bro. Let me see. Let me see. Man, yeah, no. No, I get it in, bro. So let me, I'm a, uh. From the podcast, am right? Oh, yeah, let me show you. Let me show you. All right, I'm going to show you. Because niggas, so what happened was, before I lost weight, niggas ain't believe me. I mean, niggas ain't think I needed to lose weight because they ain't think I was uh fat. Yeah. So when you see me now, and you see the pictures then, then you can really see it. But like then you really couldn't see it. Let me see if I can, uh, if I got, hold on, I'm gonna show you this. I'm trying to find that shit. Where we at, what time we got? We still got some time, right? All right, here we go. Look at this shit, right? Oh uh, yeah, your jaws and everything. Fat. I'm gonna show you a picture from. Damn. Let me show you. What made you want to lose the weight though? You want all that fat? Food. I know I wasn't fat. It's just, bro, like, look at this shit now. Nigga wanted to be in shape. Yeah, I just wanted to be in shape. You can tell the difference, fool. Way different. I'm saying. Bro, we can get it in if you're trying to, bro. I'm dead ass. <laughs> it's way different, fool. Way different, my nigga. But that shit, bro, it means a lot, bro. I, I just had a little daughter. It's a and, mind thing, really, fool. Yeah. It's a mind thing, fool. Yeah. I had a daughter and, like, uh, I went to the doctor. They was like, uh, you better just get active, stay away from the uh the baked goods and shit, like cookies and shit like that. Yeah. Cause they was like I, I was almost pre-diabetic. And I'm like, oh, man. you finna have diabetes. Yeah. Well, cause you got it's you got pre-diabetes and then you got diabetes. So like pre-diabetes mean you on the verge of having diabetes, right? But I ain't want none of that shit. So like they was yeah. like, you just gotta get active and stop eating baked goods. So I just I wanna go crazy. Lost 35 pounds, 40 pounds. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. That shit real, yeah, that shit. Nah, no cap, bro. Yeah, man. man what's in my city, motherfucker can't even, motherfucker will take a mile run. <laughs> motherfucker gonna smoke your ass. <laughs> Yo, this thing is crazy. It ain't that, that bad, bro. That shit going on, I'm, I'm telling you, fool. It's that bad? It's on my mom, I'm telling you, fool. Every five minutes, somebody in the car on, on the nigga ass, real, yeah. Ain't the part. You trying to run, take a jog in the city, man, you finna get smoked. I ain't no working out. Do y'all niggas be beefing like that too? Cause it's so small. Yeah. Like it's going on right now. I'm telling you, right now it's just he ain't never been like this in with me for history. Word. Right now. You think you gonna ever go back? 
I go back tomorrow, and you can, nah, I ain't gonna lie, fool, I'm good, like. For what? You say you will go back tomorrow? Yeah, I oh. ain't gonna lie, two, three, four bulletproofs, this how I'm coming. Nigga, don't shoot at this home, I'm gonna trail your ass, really, I'm gonna chase your ass down. Why I risk that, though? I just, like, I, I ain't been home in like a year, though. I, okay. I don't, I don't go back to the gym. Okay. I'm just saying, though, like, on the, you know, sometimes nigga wanna be riding through the city at two, three in the morning, just look at all the old, we're gonna think about all the old memories. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that though. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that. You don't gotta do that shit, nigga. You know. See, I be going about Ryan by where Lil Zay got killed at, where Young Q got killed. I be just Ryan by shit. You don't I, need to do I that. I saw though. all this shit. I might say, yeah, you, you you said you saw all of it. You don't need to go back and reminisce. That shit gonna only just bring negative thoughts to you. Why do that? Why why, why you feel like you gotta do it that? It really ain't gonna bring it. Man, I ain't gonna. I don't, I don't know. That shit really what made me right now though. Seeing this shit going through this shit, that what made a nigga fool. Mm. Sometimes a nigga be having to re, re, take, re, you know, like when a nigga want to get back in that groove, like, man, I'm finna retrack my stills right quick. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Nah, man, we want, we want, we want to see you go far, bro. I know niggas. How was it, like your niggas back home when they saw you on a jet with bag when y'all did the uh, million dollars worth of game interview? I know that shit. Went. They can't believe this shit. They can't believe this shit. Oh God. Mm, mm, mm. This shit. I ain't gonna lie, some niggas was real happy for a nigga though. But you know, like the the longer it takes for a nigga to blow, that's the more a nigga like when you actually blow a nigga be like, damn. Mm -hmm. Why I ain't blow? Why that nigga blow? Some niggas be on shit like that. Some hating shit. Yeah, hey, yeah, whole time. They a lot like a nigga, like in the mud, like when y'all on the come up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, nigga finna act like a nigga with you. But say if both y'all rap, but you the one that blow. Man, some niggas ain't gonna like this shit. Every nigga ain't gonna like this shit, fool. Yeah. Hell no. You know what I had to learn? I'm gonna keep it straight up with you. I had to learn that, like, if we in the same industry or we or we similar doing a similar thing and you blow before me, that only mean that I'm I'm closer. Yeah. It only mean that yeah, I'm closer. Yeah, don't got that. I was always on my, on my mama. Mm. Oh, God. And if any nigga, like, man, I had plenty of nigga around me with some cheap, like my big cousin, them. Man, young cry, all them folk. Man, I ain't never thought them folk older than me. I don't say. I always thought like, man, them, they motivated a nigga, fool. Mm. Every nigga around me that had some money, I was on shit like, man, them brother motivated me. Man, I ain't never felt like no nigga owed me, fool. Mm. I don't give no fuck. That's dead man cheese, fool, real shit. My mama. No, that's facts, bro. I'm glad you was your head on straight, dog. What's the, uh, what you think is probably like, the biggest lesson that somebody in the camp taught you, like if it be bad, it could be Gotti or anybody, it could be somebody else that we don't even know. That really woke you up and like, oh shit. Oh God, you can't tell everybody a be in this fool. But that's it, that was it. Yeah, yeah, you can't tell that. Man, some nigga be ready to hear some, I don't feel ready to go back and talk about you. Especially if y'all get the argue. Mm. Man, what? Man, I don't feel what? ready to say that. I don't feel ready this to. Was you telling Remember you told me, man, all type of shit, fool, just, just like if you just, like if you rich, man, fool. Man, I'm finna go to jail, I ain't pay my taxes, bro, I ain't got it. You tell a nigga that, man, nigga, what? But did you, did you think you fell into that before? Like you was telling niggas your business and then you had to learn? Hell no. Nah. I ain't gonna lie, everything I told my business to, like, man, they my real brother, so God, like. We damn near almost died for each other, like this nigga, and we remember the moments. Yeah. Man, I remember that day, this nigga, oh God, fool. So what was something that happened that you had to learn, though? Like something you might have been doing before and you had to learn. Right, kind of just, you know, like some niggas, like, you know, I, I really, my problem was I had niggas coming around. I'm thinking a nigga really fuck with me all the time. Every time I give a nigga like a gaffer, a nigga go back to the city on me. Like mm -hmm. a nigga, a nigga don't hit the shows with me or shit. I'm taking risks on this road. Oh God, nigga damn near, these club damn near getting shot up and shit. I'm risking all this shit for me to make this back in. Mm. Some nigga think they just, you know, don't supposed to do shit, just get it. Right. Man, you don't, you don't, you don't fuck with me, bro. Hell no, nah, I don't fuck with your ass on. Mm. Yo, who, who would you say, I mean, uh, like I said, I went through your catalog and shit. Who would you say was your, uh, your favorite feature so far? You got some. You got a couple of them. Right away. Raw Wave? I ain't mad yeah, at that. Yeah, I ain't yeah. mad at that. Oh, Lil Dirt. I got some real hits, fool. Yeah. Man, Bag got some shit. We got plenty of shit. 
But I'm finna get this jump from Tyrese. I'm finna watch. I told you you're an old nigga at heart, bro. Just watch. What the fuck you making with Tyrese? Man, I'm finna, I got some hard ass shit. What? I'm talking about some hard ass shit. I swear to God, bro. What? Yo, I see. You gonna see it drop, though. When you dropping it? Man, I don't know. You, you oh, you know. already got it. Wait, he already did. He already did the cut. No, nah, he ain't do it. Yet. He ain't do it. Yet. I got the track though. That motherfucker laced. What made you want to get something from Ty? I'm, I'm just curious. Like, why Tyrese? You know, this what a nigga grew up on, nigga mama and shit. You know, I'm taking this shit back to the basics. Fuck, I, I ain't just regular young nigga. I'm from. I got the old, uh, my little old high come, my old school. <laughs> you know, a nigga with the, you feel me? That's my it. old school. Yeah. And Tyrese finna be on that motherfucker. It's finna happen. Whew. When it happened though, see this type of song, you got the aunties, all the bad bit. Like you got every, every fucking, man, every era, every era finna relate to this song. Real deal. I'm curious to hear that. Yo, I seen the, um, with the, uh, the last joint you just did, Pretty Brown. Oh, uh, yeah. Y'all did like four or five different versions of that. I seen somebody else do that. When when we when we get into doing that? Four or five different. It's like they got the sped up version. Oh, uh, yeah. They just be doing it. Uh, Tom did it. He's so crazy. Oh, you ain't know nothing about that? They told me before it was finna come out, though. But you know me, I go listen to it. You know, I still, like when something come out, I still play it. But, you know, I just, I go to where I, I go to the original, like in my note, in my notes. Okay. I just play the song right there or something. I ain't just, I ain't gonna play the sped up version, the slow version. Yeah. It's just doing too much. Who your favorite artist right now? Outside of your camp. I ain't gonna lie for you. You gotta be it's Rod Wade right now. You are, you love that nigga. That nigga. Man, call him to come up, I swear to God. Man, every situation I ran across for it. He he rapping about the shit. Yeah. I swear to God, bro, with the bitches, the, the shootouts, my niggas, ain't T's dying and shit. Man, I wanna do some shit, fool. Mm. Everything I wanna do is in one of these niggas' songs, fool. Like mm. him, Rollo, no cap, shit like that. These for rapping about my shit. Mm. Hell yeah. Help me. I always ask. Bag, he, man, bag. I always ask the young niggas this, bro. Give me the top five young niggas in the game right now. Put me on game. If I if if I don't know the young niggas, I'm trying to figure out who the hottest young niggas in the game. Who who your top five? Man, you got Fox B D. She get G Code and Zay. Man, you got them two. Who else I been bumming? Who else we been playing? Man, we been playing young nigga just signed a dark little Chucky whack him. Little Chucky, hard. Man, who else we been playing? Uh, let me see. I'm waiting for just somebody I know. No, no, no. Don't name yourself. Like a young nigga? No, I ain't gonna name yeah. me. You give me a five? I already gave you three. Man, a little screwly from Chicago. Oh, young nigga named Little Screwly. Man, who else? What are young nigga? Shit. You know, young nigga in my line, Rob 49 and shit. Oh, yeah, Rob going crazy. Vulture oh, yeah. hard. Vulture, he hard. Yeah, no, nah, he going crazy. I know I know, I know Rob. I know Skiller Baby, uh, Lil Tyler, Wiz yeah. having going crazy. I know I know, yeah, I know, I know, I know a few niggas. I don't fuck you just not. Like, Those some real guys, though. Mm. Those some real guys. You think the industry is changing a little bit? Like, like y'all can really have... Because I know back then, like, yep. niggas be fake, but now niggas can have real relationships. See, back then, it wasn't a lot of young niggas, though. Like, back then, he probably... Like at one point in time, like baby, dirt, bag, all of them was insane. Like, yeah. like, I like still remember when I my first introduction to bag. Yeah, everybody one just 21, 22 and shit, 23 years old. Yeah. Yeah, about on like 27, 26, 25. Okay, okay. Like you had just no era of 21 year olds, 22 year olds, and 23 year olds just mean nerves rapping this hot. You ain't had that at one time. Okay. You ain't had that at one time. Nigga like Lil Tyler, me, man, Skiller, you got real ear, just young niggas though. Be real ear, young nigga, these nigga bumping. Nah, facts. And nigga hard. Nah, facts. It's an era of young niggas right now. Nah, y'all running this shit, y'all got it, man. Y'all got it, man. What's next for you, brother? Like, what, what can we look forward to, dog? Man, I'm finna drop this, I'm finna drop this, I'm probably finna drop this deluxe. I 
probably add about like eight more songs. I got 20 songs on the tape right now. Mm. But man, it'd be like number three in the world. So I'm finna, I'm gonna try to do a deluxe. The last one I just came up. The, well, the last one I came up. Yeah, like two, three days, two days ago. Okay. Man, that just just passed like a lot of folks who, a lot of folks I didn't know who I was in the same lane with. Nah, niggas be no, nah, yeah, niggas yeah. know who you is. Like, cause yeah. niggas been telling me about you. You know, a nigga fresh out the trenches, so a nigga one thing like, damn, I ain't me and bro really on the whole time. I ain't thinking this whole time, me and this nigga really on the same level. Yeah. Shit, I gotta remember, like, I'm him, fool. Like, oh God, but. I don't be letting that shit get in the way though. I don't be want to get comfortable. I be I always want to go on just, I got to get to the cheese, fool. You said your shit hit number three? Yeah. When you see that, you go to iTunes or whatever. Nigga see Meg the Stallion. Yeah. Four two dudes. Yeah. YTB. I be like, damn. Yeah, yeah. You ever thought you would be right here to this day? Right, right here where you at? Ah, hell nah. I ain't gonna lie though, fool. Like, I'm gonna come up. Shit, that's just what we from though. I always thought a nigga would have to see the penitentiary first, like mm. go to prison, right for air, go on, go through that. I, my nigga just did eight. That's my brother. He younger hell. Mm. He just did eight years? My, my brother did eight years. He was the same age. He 23. He went to jail. He was 16, 17. Went to jail on his birthday. My no folks. I saw he said eight years later. No fuck don't play that shit in August, I fool. Mm. I don't give no fuck if you 12. They don't give a fuck. Bro, what that mean to you though, bro? You said my little brother just did eight. The fact that you could have him with you, you could have your father with you. Y'all not in the hood and y'all really doing yeah, positive yeah. shit. Positive shit. Really made it out. Like, what that mean to you? I be feeling like a nigga gotta go further though. But they be, I, I be looking at it like, man, shit. God just, I just be putting this shit on God, fool. Like, it's God's fault. Like, like when a motherfucker died, man. God, God know what he was doing, God. Like a nigga made it, God, he knew what he was doing for. Mm. Like after this nigga, I got a mansion to go to, pull up, eight cars in the yard, seven cars. In. Like a nigga had living for this shit. This new to me though. Mm. Sometimes nigga be getting scary, like, hold on, oh God. Do you ever feel like you don't deserve it? Nah, hell nah, I be feeling like I deserve this shit, fool. Cause you know, sometimes- I'm, I be really did feel like, man, nigga, man, this is the end. Hey, yeah, yeah, two, three, four hundred dollars, four hundred thousand dollars a month, nigga making that, making this shit a month. I be thinking like, man, this shit going on, this shit live. Shit, nigga deserved it, man. I lost so many folks, fool, on the come up. Man, I deserve everything coming to me, fool. Mm. You know, some people get uh suffering from uh what is it called? Survivor's remorse. Yeah, some niggas be feeling like they don't deserve it though. Cause like you got so many niggas back home that ain't that ain't really doing nothing. And like you up uh -huh. here lit, and it's like, man, I wish I could bring everybody with me, but I can't. Oh, nigga, we want to. And every time nigga do really bring it. Nigga, I remember my first sign, nigga, I had five. Nigga, I, I brought the whole hood to Miami. Mm. Oh, God. I'm to my weird Airbnb. I'm to my, it was like 24 of us. Nigga, like two, three Airbnb. We about 20, 20, air about a 24 deep. One house, pull up to the next house, have the hood there. Another house, all the ATs in there. My oh God, fool. That was live right there, though. I remember, I'll never forget that moment. Let me ask you this, bro. I'm curious. You in it, so you might not be able to recognize it, but we see a lot of young niggas get money and crash out. And the older niggas always be like, where was their friends or where was their, their parents? Like too many people around them, too many yes men around them yep. because they getting money. Yep. You a young nigga getting money. How do you stay focused? Like how do you pre prevent yourself from like really crashing out? Not having the yes men around. I'll be having men that's going to read it I fool, man, you bullshitting fool. You, I fool, man, get away from me, fat fool. Like niggas gonna say that to me, so I be on shit like, man, I like dudes, so he gonna keep it real. Mm. Like you can't hang with no nigga, that, man. You right, bro. Every time I'm, I'm saying, some shit. you right, fat, fat, you right, man. Hell, I ain't right every time, bro. Right, nigga, I ain't right every time. I don't wanna hang around no nigga like this. If I, them, them type niggas I keep around, if I keep them away, the yes men, I feel like a nigga gonna go further. Mm. You know, cause they, you know what they say, nigga get money like everybody big bro. Nigga fucking 10 years younger than you. Oh, yeah, God. big bro, cause he got some money like, fuck all my dick. God, to my real <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this how they coming now though. Oh, you got some money on big bro. Yeah, this is how they coming now. Oh man. Well, That's life is God. good. You work for it, dog. Man, Gotta feel working. good. Still trying to work for it. I'm still trying to go hard. Mm. What's the next goal for you? 
when I touch by a fire piece, damn, you know, so I'm talking about, I don't know what I got to do. But the next goal is touching a, a, a fire piece. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's coming, dog. I wish you nothing but success, bro. I appreciate you, brother. You know it's love, bro. No, I right, appreciate uh, y'all for having me. Uh, anyway, we're going to get you the tour and shit. I think Zo, Zo right here. We're going to get out of here. Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Well, for the niggas, like, I feel like they already know, but tell them where to follow you all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Tap me on IG, OITB Fat. What you got? Uh, the project, all that. On YouTube, on Zay out now. Number three in the world. We aim for number one. Number three. Y'all follow me on IG, OITB Fat. Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. It's a wrap. We out. Good shit.